Welcome to the web tutorial, Introduction to the National Study of Caregiving, or NSOC. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We will start with the overarching aims of NSOC, including the rationale for incorporating it into the National Health and Aging Trends Study, or NHATS, followed by a description of the NSOC design and timeline, and a brief overview of content areas covered in NSOC. Let's start with the aims of NSOC. NSOC was added as a companion study to the National Health and Aging Trends Study, NHATS, to foster research on family and unpaid caregiving to older adults. NSOC is unique among caregiver studies in several ways. Together, NHATS and NSOC are the only national studies that provide linked perspectives of both the caregiver and care recipient. Rather than focusing on a primary caregiver, up to five caregivers per care recipient are interviewed. Each time the survey is repeated, questionnaire content is kept substantially consistent, allowing researchers to study changes over time. Researchers can use NSOC to address a variety of topics, such as what caregiving activities are carried out by family and unpaid caregivers? What are the implications of providing care for the caregivers and the older adults' well-being? How are caregiving experiences changing over time? How do new and continuing caregivers differ? How does end-of-life caregiving differ from care earlier in the disablement process? How does dementia care differ from care provided for other reasons? Let's take a closer look at the NSOC design and timeline. NSOC interviews up to five family or unpaid caregivers per care recipient. Most NSOC interviews are completed within four weeks of interviews with NHATS participants. NSOC 1, 2, and 3 were conducted by telephone and take, on average, about 30 minutes. The content of NSOC focuses on the caregiver situation and experiences. Eligibility for each round of NSOC was determined using a two-stage process. An NHATS sample person was eligible if, in the last month, he or she was receiving help with self-care, mobility, or household activities for health or functioning-related reasons or was living in a residential care setting. Caregivers of those NHATS participants were eligible for NSOC if they were family members or unpaid helpers assisting with mobility, self-care, household activities for any reason, or with transportation or medical care activities. NSOC 1 to 3 have been conducted in conjunction with NHATS at periodic intervals. NSOC 1 was conducted in 2011, NSOC 2 in 2015, in NSOC 3 in 2017. NSOC 1 and 2 provide cross-sectional samples of current caregivers to adults ages 65 and older who have limitations in daily activities. NSOC 3 provides a cross-sectional sample of current caregivers to adults ages 67 and older with limitations in daily activities. In addition, NSOC 3 has several new features, including the study re-interviews NSOC 2 caregivers, providing a longitudinal sample. It includes last month of life, or LML, caregivers who helped with self-care or mobility activities in 2016 or 2017. It expands questions on caregivers' interactions with the medical care system. And it includes a 24-hour time diary interview. Let's take a closer look at the content in NSOC. NSOC content areas include Care activities, that is, the type of care given. Intensity of care measured as hours in the last month and duration of care. Positive and negative aspects of caregiving. Services used by and support received by the caregiver. Distance between the caregiver and recipient and usual mode of transportation to visit. Caregiver's participation in valued activities, for example, visiting family and friends, attending religious services, doing volunteer work, or working for pay, caregiver health and well-being, including common chronic conditions, household composition and demographic characteristics, employment and caregiving, including hours worked, work schedule, and current occupation, and various economic measures, including health insurance, income, out-of-pocket payments made to meet the care recipient's needs, and financial gifts to or from the care recipient. In NSOC 3, several additional content areas were added, including caregivers who assisted in 2015 but not in the last month were asked about reasons they stopped, caregivers who assisted in the last month of the older adult's life 
or asked more details about end-of-life care. There's a new section on healthcare interactions that was added, and a 24-hour time diary was administered by telephone following the NSOC interview. The NSOC instrument uses a different reference period depending on the type of respondent. If the NHETS participant is living, questions use the time frame in the last month. If the NHETS participant is deceased, questions ask in the last month of the NHETS participant's life. Caregivers who did not help in the last month or in the last month of SP's life, but helped in the last year or the last year of SP's life, are asked, in the last month that you helped the NHATS participant. Spouse and partner caregivers of NHATS participants skipped items that can be obtained from NHATS, including household and demographic items and income questions. Enhanced data files were released in 2020 that include newly generated derived variables filling in the skipped information for these caregivers. Details are available in the NSOC user guide. The files also include five sets of imputed income variables described in NHETS technical paper number 24. A 24-hour time diary administered by telephone to caregivers was added in NSOC 3. The diary captures all activities, beginning at 4 a.m. the previous day and continuing through 4 a.m. the day of the interview. Respondents are asked what they were doing, where they were, who did the activity with them, who else was there, and, for care and household activities, who the activity was for. The time diary also assesses quality of sleep the night before the diary and the night before the interview. The diaries also provide insight into caregiver well-being. For all activities, respondents were asked about their general well-being. For three randomly selected activities, respondents were asked how they felt regarding a series of detailed emotions in order to assess their detailed experienced well-being related with these activities. Documentation for NSOC can be found on the NHATS website at www.nhats.org slash researcher slash NSOC. Be sure to review the NSOC user guide, instruments, instrument variable crosswalks, and available technical papers online. NSOC 1 and 2 were funded by the Office of the Assistant Secretary for Planning and Evaluation in cooperation with the National Institute on Aging. NSOC 3 and 4 were funded by the National Institute on Aging. This tutorial was produced by Vicki Friedman, Menyao Hu, and Sarah Patterson with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the introduction to the National Study of Caregiving. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.